Hey guys, Q here for a my first walkthrough video for the Evil Within on Akumu mode. Uh, we're at the very beginning of chapter one. This chapter is very straightforward. However, we may pick up some items you may have not have been aware of, some gels and that kind of stuff. Uh, but this this chapter is very straightforward. Um, I'm gonna rotate the camera. Uh, so right now we're just hanging hanging upside down. We got the sadist freaking chopping people up. <laughs> Excuse me. We got the sadist chopping people up. We're gonna have to grab that knife here. It's real simple. Just swing back and forth. Uh, after we're done swinging back and forth, we're gonna grab the knife. We're gonna cut ourselves down. We're gonna sneak up behind the sadist. We're not gonna stab him, obviously. Uh, we're just gonna wait for him to move. We're gonna grab the keys and we're gonna run out. Uh, this chapter is uh, fairly straightforward. Uh, when you're running away from the sadist, however, uh, it can be a little tricky. So I'm gonna, I'll definitely walk you through that as well. Um, regarding regarding the sadist, uh, you can uh, you definitely need to be quick. Uh, my my uh, style, particularly on the part where you have to sneak past the sadist, is uh, duplicatable from the checkpoint. Not necessarily your first time through, because sometimes when you play through and you haven't reloaded a checkpoint, pads and stuff will be different. So on certain parts, you will see me doing the path specifically from a reloaded checkpoint. Uh, and you're going to want to uh, do that as well. Uh, another thing you're going to want to do is uh, go to options and uh, let's see if it lets you. Subtitles, graphic content, uh, tutorials, enemy alertness, icon survival. Okay, so we don't have an enemy alertness icon, but we'll, uh, uh, we can definitely work without it. Okay, got the keys. Hey, look, a breakable box. Or at least it looks like the normal breakable ones. Ah, uh, this, this is sick right here. Ah, another body for the sadist. And we can just get a masochist in here. We'll have a party. Uh, this part, you cannot... Um, uh, there's really nothing to do. You can't disarm the trap or anything like that. Just run. Uh, go for it. Make sure your running is good. Um... And when you're on the part, when you have to go through the trap door, there actually is a glitch there. That, uh, well, he's got a collection of chainsaws. That's impressive there, bud. I don't know why you need that many exactly duplicate chainsaws, but all right. I believe there's a camera change here. No, we're still, we're still just running forward. So just all you need to do is hit the forward button. Um, Make sure to mash X for that uh, for that door, and you get cut the leg here. Now, um, again, all you need to do is hold forward on this part, and then when you start getting close to the trap door, just hit your X, and uh, you'll be fine. This this part is really there's not much to explain. There actually, is a part a way you can survive these blades, and they stop and you can like glitch them out. Uh, this part you may need to memorize. You may have a little trouble with it. Just look ahead, left, right, left. I think. I think that's all you need to do. Yeah, it's, it's left and right. There's only two blades, and we're even on a kumu mode. Uh, particulars about a kumu mode: there are a lot of <clears throat> bear traps, and that's one of the biggest differences between a kumu mode and regular difficulties: is the bear traps. Lots of bear traps. You also have some Rubik clones. Normally on casual, um, you do not have a Rubik clone show up until chapter 11 and then survival and stuff like that. Uh, but Rubik clones will show up in chapter four, I think, even three. Three, Rubik clone will show up. Uh, there's no gel or anything in that pool yet. We're not, uh, so don't worry about it. We are also going to be getting keys. Uh, so, um, I'll be showing you a lot of keys, parts, uh, and stuff like that because we will need them for resources. I will also be using a couple tricks um, that you may or may not be familiar with. For instance, uh, if I have too many cryo bolts, I know that sounds weird. If I have too many cryo bolts, I actually have a video for this already. 
um, you can freeze a, the traps on Akumu are so so hard to disarm the bomb traps so generally speaking you're not gonna want to touch those uh, we're gonna do a couple tricks for that and we're gonna utilize save points so for instance in chapter 3 oops in chat for instance in chapter 3 after you've killed everyone and after you've killed the sadist what you're gonna do is you're going to save go disarm one trap the one bomb trap to get the parts and then save again and then keep doing that that way if you fail you don't lose any progress um, that way if you fail you don't lose any progress but you can get those trap parts trap parts are gonna be your best friend on this mode with the strategies that I use trap parts are really where it's at <clears throat> um, really where it's at so uh, we're gonna want a lot of trap parts because we are gonna be using the heck out of those harpoon bolts uh, all over the place. We're not even gonna uh, we're not even gonna upgrade upgrade weapons until we have completely upgraded the harpoon bolts, um, and then we will still even then only use them in special circumstances. So right now, like I said, chapter one is very straightforward. I'm not gonna be getting all the collectibles, but I will do some searching for gel and stuff. Uh, if you follow my paths and get the gels I get. We, you should be able to duplicate my strategies uh, with all the upgrades. Uh, but like I said, your two main first upgrades should be 10 matches and completely upgraded harpoon bolts. Um, and then after that, you may want you may want to differ from my upgrades because I will be upgrading, uh, I think, weapons over sprint time or anything like that. There we go. We're gonna get in here. Uh, we will be upgrading sprint sprint time and stuff like that. But if you have a preferred weapon, you can of course upgrade that. However, there are certain parts where you will need to have ammo, particularly sniper ammo. There are certain parts where I'm gonna use a strategy that requires sniper ammo, and you're gonna want to have sniper ammo there too. Otherwise, it will get really difficult. The same way with electric bolts. We are going to be upgrading the time for electric bolts, especially later in the game, they will be saving our ass. Um, so right now we're just waiting for the sadist to come through. What I'm going to do for you guys is after he triggers the checkpoint, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to reload the checkpoint and start the video from there as to make sure to give you guys a duplicatable strategy. So there's our checkpoint. I'm gonna wait a second and uh, I'm gonna reload. All right, we're on the other side of the checkpoint. Uh, it doesn't start you in the locker, but I just kind of did that for continuity uh, convenience. And uh, so what you're gonna wanna do for the sadist here is you're gonna wanna just chill out here. <clears throat> he's gonna come to you. He's gonna look left, he's gonna look right. He's gonna show off his big bad chainsaw. or our left and our right, I should say. <clears throat> uh, what you're gonna do, uh, the timing on this can be very specific. Now definitely don't wanna stab him because you won't kill him and then you'll be screwed. Okay. Now, I'm gonna want him to go straight for the way we're looking down that way, but I'm gonna wait until he starts walking. I picked up that bottle, by the way, also. There. You don't wanna move until he starts walking. Because then it times it right. And by the time he turns around, he's going to come running over here to bust those boxes. You should be behind this counter. Yep, see, there he goes. What we're going to do is, as he's running over there, being a big bad idiot. I'm going to go over here and we're going to wait for him to turn around go make sure you're not getting too close because detection on these guys is really intense now he's gonna show show his muscles a little bit there that's fine and you're gonna want to keep sneaking until you get to this door don't start running because he will hear you there you 
go. Now stop limping, and this is just gonna be a, a you know running sequence as you're I'm sure you're familiar with. Uh, I don't know if you have to hit the X button to hop this thing, but I always just mash the X just in case. Because I don't wanna I don't wanna die over some shit because I didn't vault over a hospital. Thing. Bye bye. That is actually for me and for people who like me who really suck at <laughs> who really suck at games. Uh, that part can be it was one of the hardest. I had trouble doing that on casual, uh, which is what I did. Out of cigarettes. Oh, damn. Maybe the guy from Murdered Soul Suspect could give you, uh, could give you, you know, one of his phantom cigarettes. Those seem to stay lit forever. Uh, you can't seem to skip this intro part. Uh, I'm not gonna stop the video um, until uh, until I feel like it. Screw that. <laughs> but uh, nice soft music here. Masafumi Takara It just turned Kunimi Nakama I wanna see like Joseph Beretta or something like that <laughs> Art director Steve Zaragoza No, oh, no, that doesn't make sense Joseph Beretta <laughs> Executive Writer John Smith <clears throat> Alright, and we're just gonna go, uh, just keep going this. I don't even think there's uh, any green gel or anything that we can pick up quite yet. We gotta wait for shit to go crazy. I will be skipping cutscenes, <laughs> but that doesn't exactly mean no spoilers. Okay. There we go. I don't believe there's anything to be gained until after uh, chapter two starts. All right, guys, so that's the end of chapter one. Uh, I hope uh, it was helpful, especially on that sadist part. It's the only part that you can really die on. Um, stay tuned for chapter two. <laughs>